Hello and welcome, this is Mouseconer, and we're back with some more of the Beast and Exploration DLC for Bano Brothers. Picking up right where we left off in the last video, we're almost done with this combat. Hopefully we can take some of these guys out. Okay, both these guys are fleeing. Let's go ahead and just get up right in the face of that crossbowman, so can't really be a threat anymore. Uh, move. Well, really I can only move there. Uh, I say that. Not necessarily, but... We try and finish these guys off. I'm afraid if I move away, there won't be that many people actually attacking these fleeing guys, and they might get away. But you know what? Let's just move in here. Slash this guy in... Okay. Got his head off. There we go. And turn. There we go, got him. Alright, so there's only one guy not fleeing right now. Uh, I'm not going to waste any ammo. Let's just uh, have you leave. This will be kind of our... little area where people are getting counseling that have... <laughs> Not had a good time right now. Get ourselves into a position for next turn. Okay, you can move here and try and kill this guy. Okay, this is pretty much a done deal. We just have to get it in that position. Good chance we'll get it here. There we go. Alright, not too bad. Get some loot. And check to see if we got any experience. Yeah, we got a level up. That's not too bad. That's what makes things like that pretty important because it's going to get us prepared for the end game. As a matter of fact, we're in that stage where we could arrive at the end game at any moment. So let us come in here. Uh, I'm going to have to sell off a lot of this stuff, so I don't want to sort. So you're the only guy that got the level up. Uh, we did unfortunately take two injuries, so we are going to have to move some men out. We're very close to a midday tick, so we may get some of our injured guys back, but let's just go ahead and put uh, old uh, placeholders for now. Okay. So we're at that position where more than likely I'm going to take Brawny here. So we continue to have heavier and heavier armor. I think Resolve for sure. I'm tempted to take the Fatigue. feel like I should take that. And then maybe the Melee Defense plus two. I think that's probably the right call. This guy could use hit points as well, but I think the Defense is what we need. Alright, and then, as I said, we're going to take Brawny here. Which would mean we can take another kite shield. Uh, you've kind of got a red and yellow, so you can take a red and yellow shield. And you still have room to upgrade as well, your overall armor. We don't have armor heavy enough for you, but that's still good. And this kind of stuff, the brawny, is going to allow me to upgrade a lot of my men. And if we can have kite shield across the front, that would be really good. Did you take brawny yet? Yeah, you did. Okay. I mean, you do have some of the heaviest armor. Like, what's this guy's armor at? 190. Yeah, you have the heaviest armor. I think also in the head. Uh, yeah, you have you have definitely the heaviest armor. Okay, let's go ahead and get into town. All right, let's start off with the marketplace. Oh, well, go Weaponsmith here. Although at this stage, I don't think there's really anything that we would want outside of the... Ah, right there. Fighting Spear. That's the highest level spear. So, definitely want to get that. It's being sold for quite a bit, though. Which is uh, somewhat unfortunate. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and sell that, 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 that. Maybe I should have hung on to that because it was probably better. Yeah, it was definitely better. Oh well. So that. Now you can have the light crossbow. Uh, I should really get the fighting spear. Uh, let's see how big of a difference it is. So 35, 40. 30, 35. So it's a difference of 5 in both ways. Minimum and maximum. Uh, a little bit more durable. But the big thing here that I'm noticing, yeah. Effective against armor, 100%. So, yeah, definitely an upgrade here. Just a very expensive weapon. Uh, Fatigue-wise, ah, okay, it is more fatiguing to use as well. Good to know. I uh, still think we should pick it up. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and just go into the marketplace and sell some of this other stuff. So I'm going to sell the armor, the helmets. Uh, I guess we can sell all the shields here. Especially as we are getting rid of a lot of our normal shields and replacing them with kite shields. Uh, we don't need to have such an inventory of shields right now. So I'm going to sell even some of the ones that have 100% health because why keep them around? They're just cluttering up my inventory as my inventory is pretty cluttered. A lot of this is crafting materials that is cluttering things up, but oh well. Uh, we could buy some furs here. Probably not a bad purchase. We need to make sure we went to a different town, of course. Let's hold on that, though. All right, who is going to be the man that we upgrade? I'd like it to be somebody that A, has fatigue to spare, and also has a good attack value. I think Oswald is going to be the most likely candidate, but we'll go through the, the group. So, Arnulf here, 63, not really having any fatigue to spare. Ralph, 61. Has fatigue to spare, but not a lot. Yeah, definitely Oswald is our candidate. So where did that spear get to? There it is. All right, looking good. And if we can get more of these, I'd be pretty happy. Okay, so... I kind of want to see what this contract is. Uh, tools? Tools are being sold for all right prices here. I guess I'll pick up one. All right. I'm going to see what this contract is real quick. Okay, so this is, looks like a travel contract. Let's just read through this and see where he wants to go. So, Sudberg, two days to the south. Okay, so how many uh, crowns are we talking about? And this is the one where I think they, they're going to pay for your food. So 200 crowns in advance and 810 when the job is done. We need to pay more for it. Okay, so 220 and 880. Not bad. Uh, I'm going to say I accept your offer, but I need some time to think about it because I need to know uh, where that's going to take me. I wouldn't be necessarily against it, but I don't kind of want to do the faction contract possibly as well. So let's uh, leave for now and just take a look real quick where that is going to be. I think that's going to be like all the way down here. Well, on the plus side, there is an armor and a kennel here. We do need to replace uh, our one dog. We did lose one. So that wouldn't be bad. Although, all we have to do is go down to here to get a dog. So that's possibility number one. That'd be easy money, more or less. And we could take the furs, and there'd be, I think, no problem with that. Because, more than likely, we could sell them down there... Okay, let's see what this is. So, the Baron Ludolf von Rosenving offers a stern hand to one of his chairs. You take a seat. The region is not safe. Traders are complaining about brigands and other threats along the road. He looks down, massaging his temples. As all my men are currently tied up, I need you to patrol the area, travel to Jader Wall, continue to... Okay, and then return here within seven days. If you encounter any threats, make sure to take care of them. I will be paying you for a stroll through the woods, mercenary. Payment will be granted per head you bring me. What are we talking about? 96 crowns per head you bring back, and I'll pay you for 25 heads. I, as much as this is a faction contract, I really don't like taking these because it's not guaranteed pay. But if we see anything along the way and we kill it, I mean, that is giving us extra money. And this is taking me in a direction I'd want to go anyway. So, let's say we need to be paid more for it. 
He says no. Ah. Uh, I kind of don't want to take this contract. I think the other one's going to be a better paying. Because it's possible we won't get paid at all with this contract. So I'm going to have to go out of my way to find things to kill. <laughs> uh, all right. I still think we should do it because it takes me the direction I want to go. I think a lot of the action is up here, though, not down there. All right, I'm going to just take a look at this real quick. Okay, so we need to go down this way, stop here, down this way, stop here. The problem that I see is I only ever see action up here. As a matter of fact, I see it more up in this region, which is not the direction we're going in. Um, we do have a seven-day time limit, which is actually a lot of time. All right, I'll take the contract, but I, I kind of am hesitant to do that, because this one, I think, is the better, more guaranteed pay. But, all right, we'll take it. Especially as this is not really even all that high paying, if you think about it. Uh, let's say we, we face off and we get uh, 10 brigands. Uh, I guess that's all right. All right, I accept the contract. Oh, we do want to go into the town and get those first. So... All right. Good to go. Let's get going. So if we see anything, we have to go out of our way to kill them. Because that's money in my bank. Okay, good. Awesome. So you don't need to be there anymore. The other reason I was kind of concerned about that is we're not really in a position to fight right now. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. The other reason why I didn't really want to take this contract is there's a lot of patrols along this area, because these are forts, and they usually have big armies. I mean, you see these big footsteps? That's what that is. And if there are brigands, they're just going to get killed by the guys patrolling. Okay, objective number one already taken care of. All right, so I want to get rid of these furs. Uh, they're not being sold for a whole lot more than we bought them for, but as a result, I think I should hang on to them. I just sort this nonsense. Okay, so let's go into the kennel. How many dogs do I need? Oh, speaking of which. Get your doggy back. So you have a dog, you have a dog. You don't. You don't. And you don't. So actually, we need three dogs. Must have been other battles I lost dogs. All right, so we need three. One, two, three. That's a lot of money, unfortunately. All right, so doggy number one. And doggy number two. And doggy number three. All right, back on the road. Aha! Oh, no. Let's try and engage them before nighttime. Come on, get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. I hope it's not nighttime, because otherwise we'll have a hard time hitting these guys. This is a dangerous fight. It's nighttime. Okay, let's put a spear roll up. Okay. All right, we got lucky with those. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to hold. Hold, because we might put the dogs out. All 
good. I don't know if the dogs count as separate, the, the wolves or whatever. Um, I'm going to hold for now because I might put up my shield wall. I'm not 100% sure on that. Do I think I'd hit anything with the... <laughs> With throwing javelins. Not sure I would. But I'm going to do it anyway. Alright. I think the right move is the shield wall here. We have a decent chance of killing the wolf here. All right, good. Shield wall. Uh, I don't think this is time to put out the dogs. And I already attacked, but I didn't shield wall, right? All right. I'm going to guess they're trying to flank me. Ow. That's unfortunate. Hold. Alright, we're doing alright. I feel like I have to assist in this combat here. I mean, we know there's a whole bunch more of them. Hey, shield wall. Flash. And move in. Oh, no. Put a dog out. Put a dog out. Good job. I I'm kind of surprised they really have not been that affected by the morale uh, effects, you know, like the morale attacks. I'm honestly not really sure where to go because I don't know where the other, well, we got one, two, three, where the other three are. I mean, I think this side's taken care of. It's more down here that's dangerous, so. I guess we'll go this way. Probably the right call. We got out of that one, all right. Because these guys, they can do a lot of damage real fast. In any case, it's going to be a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.